What's going on, guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com. Back again with Josh Cathcart, the baseball doctor. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube, got to go over there and check him out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, we are in Pearland, Texas, are. just south of Houston. So if you're in the area, come check him out. But we got some really cool stuff in this video. I wanted to pick your brain on some of your most unique hitting drills. You got a ton of hitting drills on your YouTube channel, your Instagram. But I want to know some of the most unique ones that maybe you're not using with every hitter but okay. you see something within specific hitters and you use some of these drills to help them out maybe there's a guy watching that as a specific issue that one of these drills can help uh him with so tell us some of your most unique man ones. i uh as far as drills are concerned you know you always have your standard drills that everybody sees but when you have players especially in the lesson setting that are coming in every single week they may not be practicing as much as they should at home happens right um, I have to come up with things to keep them engaged and there's so many different ways to get that done now but kids want that instant gratification the tablet the phone the whatever it is and so to just come in and get on a tee and move the tee around while that may be good for a more advanced guy that really knows how to grind and get after his craft when you're talking about eight nine ten year olds that sometimes would rather be anywhere else but in a cage with you at the time you've got to get creative so these are a couple of the ones that I've come up with, you know, just to kind of throw in the mix that is going to allow us to still be working on our swing, but also gets the kid kind of in that mindset like, oh, I'm doing something else. I'm not just standing up here getting bored. OK, so the first two that we have involve this big rig 18 wheel tire. Everything's uh, big in Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas. <laughs> All right. Now you can actually get a smaller tire if you would want for the young kids. But this one works. You can do it with a partner. If the tires are real you know, steady, maybe not need a partner. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. This is one to work on staying through pitches. So I'm going to do a little demonstration right here and just kind of show you what we're talking about. For young guys, what you normally see is a swing that I call in the zone, out of the zone. All right? And there's different ways that they go about that. If my pitch is right here, OK? And I want to be able to get on plane with this pitch and be able to work to the middle of the field. This would be what I would consider a smooth or consistent bat path. Where we're here, we can make adjustments down, we can make adjustments up, whatever we need to do. Young players, however, have a tendency to be here. In the zone, out of the zone. In the zone, out of the zone. Across the zone. Or pushing this way. OK, they have a hard time staying through the middle with their swing path. So this is what this drill is going to work on. All right. You can change locations. I'm going to start kind of down at the bottom of the zone and work my way up. What we want to pay close attention to is kind of the smoothness all in a direction out to the center of the field. I'm going to do a couple of good ones and then I'm going to kind of cut across a couple and let y'all see what that would look like. So here we go. Pitch down. Make contact. This is right off the inside of my front hip. And now all the way out this way, staying palm up. And you'll notice my extension is kind of out toward right center here. All right. If I, we bring that back, if I was going to cut that, this is what this would look like. I would be coming in here and now I would come and cut it. And that tire is going to fall over right there because I'm cutting across. OK, another problem is kids that want to scoop at that down pitch. Okay, they want to kind of get here and then work straight up like more of a golf swing. So that's what this would be here. And then they kind of come off of it really quick and it just slides up that tire. All right, so now the middle, middle, contact point, push out, palm up. And now notice here my extension is more to the center of the field. That down and away, my extension was more to right center. That pitch kind of middle, middle here, back out to the middle of the field. All right. This is also a really good drill for strength elements for these kids. All right. Being able to get this tire moving, just those couple for me in the forearms and wrist, really, really good strength exercise. So when you need bat path, you want to talk about direction to the middle, break you out a tire and have some fun with it. If, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to mm -hmm. jump in. I was just guiding the tire. I wasn't helping him in any way. I was just kind of guiding it. And if it was falling, catching it. That's yeah. basically And look, he can do one without with his hands off. I mean, that, that tire should stay there. 
Okay, and if you have good direction with it, it's not going to fall all over the place. All right, now, I wouldn't suggest using an 18 wheel tire with a little eight year old right here. He may get crushed, right? <laughs> so let's be a little bit smart about it. Okay, for this next one, we're going to go back. We're going to use the tire again. This is going to be a balance and staying centered through our swing. All right, now that tire is going to go down on the ground, and we're actually going to set a T up here. Okay, this is going to be a swinging drill. So this 18 wheel tire, big rig tire, this pretty much sets up standard, okay? For those of you that may or may not know of my YouTube, I've, I've said it a whole lot. Use your bat, okay, for young guys as a guide for width, okay? I don't know why this works. In years of coaching, I've just kind of figured out that the width for kids proper is the length of their bat, okay? Until they get to be you know, six three, six four, and then it may get a little wider. But standard for for kids, young players, the width of their bat should be their launch position width. Okay, easy way to measure. And this day and age, most kids have two bats in their bag anyway. All right, so just lay one down. Now, for this, this has variations. If you've got a kid just starting out, I would highly suggest just doing this from launch position. Okay, maybe a little rock. You know, that little, that load just a little bit in the hip. Again, we don't want to get pushing our weight to the backside, but maybe just a little rock. For me starting out, what we're looking for is that the head stays right in the middle, okay, through the swing and everything else. So the way that this would look here, launch position, just your normal swing, balanced. Notice again, this line, this is crucial. Crucial, head, shoulder, hip, knee, straight down through the finish. Once you get comfortable with this and maybe get a little more advanced, you can actually go to a modified or a full leg kick and really come back down here, okay? The only thing with this and the issue that we have here is that the foot comes right back down where it came from if we're hitting normal, I like to have a little bit more of a forward move than coming right back down. But since we're already in this width, it serves a good purpose. Okay, so you have you can go full here, you can just stay in just a little rock, or you could actually go just flat-footed to get comfortable and come through like this. All right, so multi-use for the tire, keep them engaged. They're going to feel this really, really quickly if they're off balance. Okay, so love this one. Use it at the academy a lot, especially if things are starting to get a little stale on them or I look like they're not engaged. Alrighty, the hula hoop. Okay, I get weird looks when I break out the hula hoop, especially this hula hoop, because it lights up. All right, so we have a party sometimes. All right, so basically with this one, this is all about hand path and being able to turn and maintain this arc in the hands. Now, we can get into a little bit of a debate about this if you want to, okay? People talk about what are the hands really doing in a swing? And for me, I hate the term, take your hands to the ball, okay? That's just not something that I use a lot with young kids because they take it literal. And if you take that terminology literal, it turns into this. And now I'm stuck. The only way to get this barrel now is to pull back and come down or to back out of this. And we talked about that space earlier. So I don't like the terminology, take your hands to the ball. I will say at the beginning of the swing, the direction is knob to the ball. Okay, I am good with that. But I am not good with, hey kids, take your hands to the ball. It just, it doesn't work for most unless it's explained. That's where the hula hoop comes in. The hand path is actually a slight arc. Okay, that, that's the way that this moves. And we should be able to hold, we talked about that box and angles earlier, okay? Get them into launch. The key here is to make sure that the hoop doesn't change positions. So what that would look like is that this hula hoop all of a sudden I start pushing and it starts moving on me, 
Okay, or if I come like this and it starts dropping because I'm getting that back elbow sucked underneath me and it drops behind me. We want to be able to hold these angles, the front arm angle, the rear arm angle, and now watch as it's nice and smooth to right here. Now this is as far as you want to go with this drill to where we get to this connected position right in here. Notice how smooth that transition is, and it's kind of the arc right here in these hands. All right? Once we get going here, I also don't want to have my guy start to push out this way. That's not what we're looking for. It's just going to be to this point, rock the hands kind of underneath this elbow or chest right in here. This is a really, really good drill for the young guys, and again, you're gonna catch their attention just by throwing a hula hoop in their hands, okay? So, really, really solid one here. For this last one, this is gonna be a rock and release. What do the shoulders truly do? That's the question and what we're gonna work on here. You hear people all the time talk about don't pull the front shoulder out, don't pull the front shoulder out, don't collapse the back shoulder, okay? Again, we need to be very specific when we talk about these things. Collapsing, of the shoulders would be this move where it comes and that back shoulder drops and we get back behind our hip kind of over that back foot okay that would be a collapse the fly out would be we get in here and we start to really take this front side and kind of fly up and away with it okay so with this drill we want to think about rocking kind of like you're rocking a baby okay some of y'all probably heard of the rock the baby drill from other coaches. This is just a little variation on this. Not every drill is going to work for every player. And as a coach, it's our job to figure out what is going to work for that individual. I've never seen this drill before. I'm being 100% honest until yesterday. I had a young kid that could not understand the rock move and how the rock turned into a swing okay he wanted to take his shoulders and he wanted to go all over the place he wanted to dive he wanted to drop he wanted to do all these things so I'm just sitting here rest this on the top of the rear arm kind of like you have a shelf with this back elbow okay other hand right underneath and then we're gonna get internally rotated with our shoulders now I want to rock Okay, like I'm rocking a baby. One, notice the hip is going first, two, and then through. Okay, so again, rest it on the shoulder, little internal turn, rock, one, two, and then through. Alrighty, so rock and then release. So what I call this one, it's easy for the kids. I name all my drills. Y'all don't have to name all these, by the way. This is just an easy way. When they walk in, I can say, hey, this is what we're doing today, and they've got it, okay? So again, set here, hips, rock, rock, and release. All righty? So those are my four. Those are pretty unique. Keep the kids engaged. Again, not for everybody. I'm not saying run out and make every single kid you got jump on a tire and grab a hula hoop and do this. That's, that's not what I'm saying at all. But you do need to be a little bit creative these days to keep them engaged. And one size does not fit all when it comes for drills. Okay, mix and match. When you see that little light bulb go off with them, now you know you've got one. It's fitting that your name is the baseball doctor because the way I like to think about hitting drills is you're prescribing different hitters, different things to work on. So drills, in my opinion, are a great way to help fix issues with different guys. Not every, like you said, not every guy's gonna be doing the same hitting drills. Absolutely. And so it's, I think it's a cool tie-in that your name is the baseball hey. doctor. You prescribe different things, different drills, making up drills on a guy last night, you yeah. saw I had an issue, it's really cool stuff. And that happens a lot in here. You know, We're kind of on the fly with the other instructors and everything else, we're like, man, what is gonna work? Because again, you see these kids every week. Some of these guys have been hitting with me three, four years, okay? We gotta spice it up. You don't eat the same meal every day, right? And so it's the same type thing. And for coaches, encourage your players to communicate with you, 
One of the things that drives me crazy is I'll just be talking in a lesson and kids just, yes. Not everything works for everybody. There's no way that every kid that walks through that door, that drill, they're like, yep, that's perfect, coach. Okay? So ask them to communicate, give you feedback. If something feels a little bit off, if something feels weird, if it doesn't work for them, move on to the next. Okay? It's a team. The, the coach isn't all-knowing. The coach doesn't have to go execute in the game. So it's, it's got to be some back and forth with this. Guys, do me a favor real quick and jump over to Josh's channel, Baseball Doctor on YouTube. I'll leave a link down below. Go over there, subscribe to his channel. Tons of great hitting drills and hitting advice, some fielding stuff. Uh, again, if you're ever in the Houston, Texas area, come on by. Check them out. Get some uh, Come training. see us. We also do softball. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Drop down in the comments below. Let us know uh, which one of these four hitting drills was your favorite. And uh, we're going to shoot some more videos for you here. Sounds guys. good.